Dear students, welcome back to class 9, English Grammar, Chapter 2, Articles. As already know, there is no introduction regarding articles because we learn it in lower classes. So there are two types of articles. Indefinite articles, that is, uh, they are A and N. Another one is definite article, that is the. We know these articles are also known as determinants because they uh, do or they affect the meaning of nouns. So they are called articles also. First, let us see indefinite articles. Also, if the beginning of a word is a silent H, then also we use indefinite article. Example, an honest man. See this H is a silent H. So it does the work of a vowel. So here a the word is beginning with a uh, vowel sound, so we use indefinite article and then if a, a word is pronounced as though it is beginning with a, a vowel but uh, it is pronounced as if a uh, ya yeah or y then we use indefinite article a for example a university A university. See here the sound is ya. So a is used before this. So now uh, some of the functions of indefinite articles. It is used before a word beginning with a single countable uh, it is uh, used before a single countable noun for example there is a person for you a person is a single countable noun so we use the indefinite article person now, then again we use when it shows the meaning of one example I have bought a car. Here it gives the meaning of one. Then again we use indefinite article when it uh, means sense of each. For example, I read at least a book a month. So that means at least one book each month. So that also. Again we use indefinite article before the name of some occupations. For example, my father is a doctor. So here before a doctor, name of occupations and uh, showing one and also uh, single countable noun. So these are some of the functions where we use indefinite articles. And also there are some occasions where we will not use indefinite articles. For example, uh, when we are referring to uncountable nouns. When we refer uncountable nouns, we will not use uh, definite articles. For example, the chair is made up of wood. Wood. The chair is made of wood. So here, this wood is uncountable noun. So before that, we will not use a or an. So that is one occasion where we uh, ignore, where we avoid uh, indefinite article. 
And again, we will not use indefinite article before the name of a me. For example, I had my breakfast. Breakfast. I had my breakfast at a seven o'clock. So here, before this breakfast, we will not use uh, definite article, indefinite article. We will not use any article before me. So these are some of the occasions where we uh, use. Uh, indefinite articles and some other occasions where we will not use indefinite articles. Now, next uh, let us see. The uh, in definite articles. That is the where we use definite article if we use definite article when we mention any particular person or place, so there we use the. And uh, so this the is used where the usage is. It is used when there is only one in number. Means, uh, for example, the sun rises in the east. This sun is only one in the universe, only one. So when we want to refer the, the, what is the only one, then we can use definite article. And uh, again, we use it uh, before Again, we know the definite article is used when there is only to show that when there is only one in existence, that is the sun uh, rises in the east. Another one. Again, when we are using the definite article, uh, that is, it is already known. Uh, for example, the shirt which I am wearing is gifted by my cousin. The shirt. That everyone knows which shirt we are mentioning. So this is another use. Which shirt I am, uh, that is clear to all. So for in that occasions, such kind of occasions, we can use uh, definite article. The second usage is when the noun is known to the product or known to the public. Uh, for example, the shirt which I am wearing is gifted by my friend. See, that is the shirt. It is known to the people. The, that is a particular shirt which I am wearing. So that is known. So in that occasion, we can use uh, different article the. Again, we can use uh, before adjectives, which is used as noun. For example, the rich. The rich shows the rich people. So here the rich is not adjective, it becomes noun because of uh, this article. The rich, the poor, the poor. So this poor become noun because of this uh, article. So again, uh, we can use uh, this definite article before the name of sea, ocean, river, etc. For example, the Atlantic or uh, the Indian Ocean, or the Arabian Sea, the Ganga. So before the name of a river, ocean, sea, etc., we can use the. Again, when we are uh, using this uh, uh, definite articles, so we can say the English. The English we can say, but the uh, English people we can say. There we cannot use the. Uh, 
So the English, but the English people. So these are some of the usages of uh, definite article the. Now let us uh, defer uh, sentence. For example, he has go to church. Another one, he has gone to the church. The difference between these two sentences, the first one, he has gone to church. Second one, he has gone to the church. Here, the church shows, suggests that a particular building. And he has gone to church. That means he has gone for that usual purpose, for praying. For praying purpose, uh, for prayer and adoration. That purpose is when the, when the church. And second one, it is not for the usual purpose, but especially uh, implicating that particular building. Maybe for watching, maybe for some other work. Not for the usual purpose of praying. So he has gone to the church. The church shows that particular church building. Same way, uh, we can say that uh, the child uh, or he has gone to uh, school, he has gone to the school. He has gone to school shows he has uh, gone to school for a study purpose. Gone to the school, something other purpose, maybe for watching, maybe for visiting, uh, maybe for meeting some other people, uh, for other, other purpose. So these are the uh, important differences when we are using this definite article before a noun and a uh, without that article when we are expressing. So uh, this shows a particular building and a particular building and another one is a, the usual purpose of it. Same with the college or uh, the hospital or this. Then again the article uh, has some other purpose also. Let us uh, see this article uh, example. She has a blue and green frock. She has a blue and a green frock. This shows she has only one frock and its color is a blue and a green. So only one frock, the color of that frock is blue and a green. Then another sentence is she has a blue and a green frog. The, the difference of uh, different of this sentence is she has two frogs. She has two frogs, she has a blue frog and she has a green uh, frog. She has a blue frog and she has a, a green frog. Uh, so here it uh, suggests two frogs are there. One is blue, another one is uh, green. So this is uh, 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 difference. Uh, again, we can say the uh, the principal and the manager has come, or the principal and the manager came. Principal and the manager came. So here only one person came. One person holding the two posts. Same post. Same person uh, uh, having the post of principal and the manager. That two person came. Another sentence the principal and the manager. Here these two separate different. Uh, two separate uh, articles are used so that shows separate people two people okay the principal and the manager came that means uh, only one person came second one the principal and the manager came means uh, two persons came again another uh, comparison or another uh, difference in meaning when we study little a little and the little. So that are uh, quite a, uh, a lot of uh, differences are there, uh, mistakes we are making in that. Little. 
Little means hardly any. Little means hardly any. Means nothing at all. Nothing is there. Yeah, little. Little means a little bit. So it means a small amount. Small amount is there. And another one, the little. The little shows a small amount of, but the whole of it. Small amount of, but the whole of it. So little means uh, hardly any. For example, little did they know of the consequences. That means uh, they did not know anything about the consequences. Then second one, a little. A, yeah, a, a little. So a little amount of water uh, remained after the drought. So that means very little, uh, very little, very small amount of water remained after the drought. Then the, the next, the little, the little water remained after the drought was given to the children. That means a small amount of water remained that completely that is given to children. So that is what uh, the difference of these uh, three things. So with this, dear students, we conclude our chapter 2 uh, articles and uh, the assignments and the uh, exercises given in the uh, continuation of the textbook you can complete it so stay safe bye